Hey guys, welcome to Bodhi. I'm Casey, this is Tamal, and today we're gonna do a 30 minute vinyasa flow class entitled Bring the Heat. So we're gonna get started on our backs. Just finding any comfortable shape that feels good for you. So you might let the legs extend toward the top of your mat. Maybe draw the soles of your feet together, let your knees drop out wide. But wherever you are, just using these first few moments to arrive. And take a big breath in through the nose. And exhale, sigh it out through the mouth. Another big inhale through your nose. Exhale, let it go. Take one more big breath in. Let it be your biggest breath yet. Hold it in at the peak. See if you can sip in just a little more air to cap it off. And then open your mouth, let it all go. Float your lips closed. Come back to breathing in and out through your nose. Just finding those slow, deep breaths to root you into your space. And on your next breath, you can blink the eyes open, hug your knees into your chest, give yourself a little press. And then stack your knees over your hips, lift your feet to the height of your knees, and start to peel your shoulders away from the earth. Fingertips reach toward the front of your space. And then flip the palms so that they face the ground. And start to pulse the arms, and as the arms pulse, your chest moves with it. And this is a tamal special. <sighs> nice. So keep those pulses going. Keep the right leg where it is, but kick the left leg all the way out toward the front wall. Nice, let it hover, grow long through the back of the left leg. Flex through the toes. Bring the left knee back in, extend the right leg. Nice, keep pulling the low belly in towards your spine. Broaden through the chest. So if you want more, both legs can extend. If you want a little less, both knees can bend. Keep the pulses going. Nice. Keep corseting the front ribs together. Last two, pause in a crunch, and then maybe you reach the arms by your ears. Just for three, two, let it go. Hug the knees into your chest. Nice, so bring both hands to your right shin. Extend the left leg all the way out in front of you. Let it hover, grow long through the back of the left leg. And then start to peel your shoulders away from the earth. Maybe you bring your nose to your right knee. Nice. See if you can find a little more space between the bottom tips of your shoulder blades and the earth. And then reach your fingertips straight up to the sky. Nice. See if you can lift the shoulders a little bit higher. And then send the right knee straight out to the right. Yeah. Good. Keep breathing. <laughs> Bring the right knee back into your chest. Reach for your shin. Let your shoulders drop. Guide the knee over to the left edge of your mat. Find a twist. Breathe into the low belly. And come back through center. Hug both knees in. And then keep reaching for the left shin. Right leg extends out in front of you. Get long through the back of the right leg, lengthen through the inner right heel, and then lift your chest. Can you bring your nose to your left knee? Nice. Navel pulls into the spine. So keep hugging the knee in, keep lifting the shoulders, reach the fingertips to the sky. And can the shoulders lift a little bit higher and then send the left knee straight out to the left? Stay with your breath. 
Maybe the shoulders lift a tiny bit higher. Bring the left knee back through center. Reach for the shin. Release the shoulders. Drop the knee to the right. And take one more breath. And come back through center. Hug both knees in. Give yourself a little press. And then take a few rocks back and forth along your spine, as many as you need to eventually cross the shins, plant the palms, find downward facing dog. So a little bit of time to find some movement when you get there. Maybe pedal through the heels, release through the back of the neck. Any little fidgeting that you need to eventually find some stillness in down dog. So we let the feet rest, hips width apart. Heels disappear behind the toes. Wrap the inner thighs back and then think about pressing your thigh bones toward the wall behind you. Pull the tailbone away from the crown of your head. Forearms lift forward while your triceps wrap down. And on your inhale, drift forward, find plank. Let your shoulders stack over your wrists, hips soften down to the height of your shoulders. Pull the low belly in. And press the earth away so much with your hands that your chest naturally lifts. Take one more inhale. And hips up and back on your exhale, downward facing. Inhale, drift to plank. Exhale, press back, down dog. Drift forward on your inhale. This time, lower chaturanga. Pull the elbows back. Inhale to lift your heart, cobra or up dog. Downward facing on your exhale. Nice. Right leg rises. Bend the knees, stack the hips. Keep squaring through the torso so the outer right shoulder wraps down. And on your exhale, pull the knee under and across to your left shoulder. Inhale, sweep it back, stack the hips, bend the knee. Exhale, knee under and across, left shoulder. Sweep it back, open up, keep moving with your breath. So it can be fast, slow, just matching your own energy level, the pace of your breath. Nice. Meet on an inhale with the hips stacked, knee bent. And on your exhale, lunge the foot between the hands, drop the back knee down, arms rise, knee down, warrior. Nice. Let the hips sink forward and down. Keep scooping the tailbone down toward the earth. See if you can find a little space between your right thigh bone and your right frontal hip point. Nice. Take one more inhale, reach a little bit higher, and then plant the left hand inside the right foot, right fingertips reach high. Find your twist. Nice, keep wrapping the left ribs towards your inner right thigh. Press the earth away so much with your left hand that you find a little space between your ear and your shoulder. Keep that twist, tuck your left toes under, lift your left knee, activate the left leg. So the back of the left knee lifts up to the sky. Nice, broaden through the collarbones, pull the shoulder blades away from each other. And then reach the right arm by your right ear, wrap your right tricep down. Pin the outer right hip back. Nice, take one more breath. Reach the right fingertips to the sky, plant the hand, step back to plank, pause, kick the heels to the left, reach the right fingertips to the sky, side plank. Nice. So any variation that you need, but wherever you are, scoop the tailbone toward the heels, keep wrapping the left tricep back, and then right arm comes by the right ear, right pinky finger wraps down, knit your front ribs in. Take one more breath. Right fingertips reach high, plant the hand in plank, lower chaturanga. Heart lifts on your inhale, downward facing on your exhale. Nice, left leg rises. Bend the knees, stack the hips. Exhale, knee under and across, right shoulder. Sweep it high, open up. Exhale, pull it forward, keep moving with your breath. 
So think about keeping the arms straight and strong the entire time. Let the shoulders stack over the wrists every time you drift forward. Nice. Meet on an inhale with the leg lifted, knee bent. Lunge the foot between the hands. Back knee drops down, arms rise, knee down, warrior. So the front ribs drop down, back ribs lift. Get a little taller through the crown of your head. And on your exhale, right hand plants inside the left foot. Left fingertips go high. Outer left hip pins back. Keep wrapping the right ribs to the left inner thigh. And then tuck the right toes under, lift the right knee. So the right thigh bone lifts up into the right hamstring. Find a little more space between your shoulder blades. Stay long through the sides of your waist. And then take the top arm by the left ear. Left pinky finger wraps down. Keep lengthening through the inner right heel. Take one more breath. Left fingertips go high. Frame the front foot, step to plank. Kick the heels to the right. Left fingertips reach high. Nice. Notice if the top hip starts to drift backwards. See if you can roll it forward to stack on top of the right. And then maybe the top arm goes by the right ear or left ear. Fingertips toward the front wall. Find a little more space between the outer right hip and the earth. And then left fingertips go high. Plant the hand in plank. Lower down. Take your vinyasa. Meet and downward facing. Nice. Lift the gaze past the fingertips. Bend the knees at the bottom of your breath. Step or float to the top. Inhale, half lift. Exhale to fold. Come all the way up on your inhale, arms rise, heart lifts, hands to the heart on your exhale. Inhale, arms rise, exhale, dive down. Pull the heart forward on your inhale, step or float on your exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, urdhva mukha, exhale, adha mukha. Lift the gaze, lift the collarbones, bend the knees at the bottom of your breath, make your way to the top. Inhale, lengthen, exhale to fold. Knees bend, arms rise, Utkatasana, chair pose. Nice, heavy in the back edges of the heels, root down through the ball mounds of the big toes. Inner thighs wrap down, front ribs knit in. And then see if you can keep what you've got, but lift to the ball mounds of both feet. So heels lift away from the earth. Nice. Can you sink a little bit deeper with the heels lifted? Maybe the heels lift a little bit higher. Take one more breath. Fold on your exhale. Plant the heels. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, step or float. Take your vinyasa. Meet and downward facing. Nice. Right leg rises. Bend the knees, stack the hips. And on your exhale, pull the knee to the nose. Inhale, sweep it back, stack the hips. Knee to the nose on your exhale. Keep it moving with your breath. Meet on an exhale with the knee at the nose. Pause. Create a little more space between your right shin and the earth. And then step the right foot between the hands. Drop the back knee down. Arms rise. Knee down, warrior. Get a little straighter through the arms. Press the biceps a little closer to the ears. Wrap your triceps forward. And then tuck the back toes under if they aren't already. Use your low belly to lift the back knee. Nice. And then lower it down to tap. And lift and lower on your own with your breath. Keep driving the right shin down into the right heel. Nice. 
Sit on an inhale with everything lifted. Press the hands at the heart, twist right, left elbow hooks outside the right knee and thigh. So we work towards stacking the elbows, root the right hand down into the left so much that your sternum, your heart starts to lift to the thumbs. Nice. On your next breath, keep your twist, but send your gaze just past your right toes. Get heavy in the right foot. Step the left foot to the top to meet it. Revolved chair. Nice. See if you can sink a little bit deeper. Keep sliding the left shin back in line with the right. And on your inhale, come through center chair. Keep sinking low. So start to shift the weight into the right leg. Kick the left leg straight out in front of you. So the inner knees can stay connected or if you want to lift the left leg a little bit higher than the right thigh, that's great too. And then bend a little deeper into the right knee. Straighten through the right leg. Bend through the right knee. And straighten. Last time, sit low. Come back up to straighten. Press the hands at the heart. Sweep the left leg back, warrior three. Hmm. We ground down through the right big toe. Spin the left inner thigh to the sky. Peel the low belly away from the right thigh. And then on your next breath, just the left fingertips touch down. Right hand can come to the low back, maybe fingertips to the sky. Parvrita Ardha Chandrasana. Keep energizing the left leg. Pin the outer right hip back. So it's not over yet. Bring your awareness to the core. Think warrior three, press the hands at the heart. Nice. Just here for one more breath. Maybe you reach the biceps by the ears. Deep bend in the right knee, crescent. Step the ball of the left foot all the way back. Breathe. So the inner thighs lengthen away from each other. Outer hips frame in. So keep what you've got, but just lift your right heel off the earth. Lift high to the ball of your right foot. Nice. Maybe you sink a little bit deeper. Maybe you soften the skin at the tops of your shoulders. And then lower the right heel, frame the front foot, pull both legs straight, pyramid pose. So you can keep the stance along with the back heel lifted. If you want to step the back foot in a little to ground through the heel, that's perfect. So we pin the outer right hip back, breathe into the back of the right leg. And then on your next breath, shift the weight to the right leg, sweep the left leg high, standing split. Outer left hip wraps down in line with the right. Soften through the back of the neck, release the crown of the head down toward the right toes. Take one more inhale. Can you lift the left heel a little higher? Step it down to meet the right. Inhale, half lift. Exhale to fold. Come all the way up on your inhale. Arms rise, heart lifts. Hands to the heart on your exhale. Inhale, bend the knees, sit deep. Chair pose, Utkatasana. Sink a little lower. And then lift the heels, come to the ball mounds of the big toes. Can you sink a little bit deeper? Keep knitting the front ribs in. And then lower the heels, fold forward. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, step or float. Take your vinyasa, downward facing on your exhale. Nice, left leg rises. Bend the knees, stack the hips. Exhale, knee to the nose. Inhale, sweep it back, open up through the hips, knee to the nose on your exhale. Keep moving with your breath. And then we'll meet on an exhale with the knee at the nose, pause. Dome through the back of the body, lift a little higher to the right toes, step the foot between the hands, back knee drops, arms rise, knee down warrior. Nice. 
And keep dropping your front ribs down, lifting your back ribs. And then on your next breath, the right toes tuck under if they aren't already. Use the core to lift the back knee. And then lower to tap and lift and lower on your own with your breath. Meet on an inhale with everything lifted. And then press the hands at the heart, twist left. Right elbow hooks outside the left knee and thigh. Energize the right leg. Think about the right hip lifting to the height of the left. Find a little more space through the chest. Keep your twists and the gaze past the left toes. Send the weight into the left leg. Step the right foot up to meet it. Right shin keeps sliding back. Get long through the sides of your waist. And on your inhale, come through center. Chair. So we shift the weight into the left leg. Kick the right leg straight out. See if you can bend a little deeper into the left knee and then stand up. And then bend into the left knee and stand. Last time, sink low. Come back up, press the hands at the heart, sweep the right leg back, warrior three. Nice. Get heavy in the inner part of the left foot. Feel the front of your body absorb up into your back body. Slide your shoulders down your back. And then just the right fingertips touch down, left hand to the low back or fingertips to the sky. to the core. Come back to warrior three. Press the hands at the heart. Nice. Just here for a breath. Maybe you reach the biceps by the ears. Deep bend in the left knee to step you all the way back. So keep what you've got in crescent, but lift to the ball mounds of the left foot. Maybe you sink a little deeper into the left leg. Maybe the left heel lifts a little higher. One more breath. Lower the heel, frame the front foot, pull both legs straight for pyramid. Think about the top of the left hamstring lifting up towards your left sit bone. Get heavy in the left leg, shift the weight forward, right leg goes high. Standing split. Hmm. Breathe into the back of the left leg. If you need a little bend, let it be in the standing knee. Take one more inhale, see if you can lift the right heel a little higher. And on your exhale, step it down to meet the left. Inhale, half lift. Exhale to fold. Come all the way up on your inhale. Arms rise. Hands to the heart on your exhale. Inhale, sink low. Chair pose. Fold on your exhale. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Find crow pose, bakasana. Palms plant, lift high to the toes. Knees slide in towards your armpits. Let the elbows stack over your wrists. Maybe one or both feet lift. Puff up through the back of the heart. Take one more breath. Step back, float back on your exhale. Take your vinyasa, downward facing. Right leg rises. Bend the knees, stack the hips. Exhale, knee to the right shoulder. Inhale, sweep it back, stack the hips. Knee to the right on your exhale. Keep going with your breath. Hmm. Nice. Meet on an inhale with the hips stacked, knee bent. Exhale, lunge the foot between the hands. Back heel spins down. Lead with the left arm to pull you up, warrior two. Hmm. 
So take up as much space on the mat as you can. Think about sliding the right thigh parallel with the earth. Right inner thigh lengthens forward, outer edge of the right hip hooks back to help keep the knee from knocking in. If you can sink a little bit deeper, but grow a little taller through the crown of your head. And then press the hands at the heart, hook the right elbow inside the right knee and thigh. So we're in like an open twist. You stack the elbows. Use that traction between your right tricep and your right inner thigh to hug your right glutes even further back. Nice. So feel free to hang out here if you want to spice it up a little bit. You might reach the biceps by the ears. Pretend you've got a block in between the hands. Nice. Keep breathing. Front ribs go in. Press into the feet to come all the way up. Reverse your warrior. <laughs> and then windmill the hands down. Frame the front foot. So lift your chest and then just step your left foot to the top to meet your right. Arms rise, chair. <laughs> Fold on your exhale. Inhale, half lift. Find crow pose, bakasana, palms plant, lift high to the toes, wedge your shins high up onto your triceps, and if you feel good here, see if you can keep the right knee connected to your tricep, and then just hug the left knee into your chest. If you want to spice it up even more, left leg can go straight up and back. Last breath, get out of there however you need to. Make your way back to down dog. Left leg rises, bend the knee, open up through the hips, exhale, knee to the left shoulder, inhale, sweep it back, open up, knee to the left shoulder, keep moving with your breath. And then we meet on an inhale with everything stacked. Lunge the foot between the hands, spin the right heel down, right arm pulls you up, warrior two. Think about pulling your wrists away from each other. Broaden through the collarbone, but find some space between your shoulder blades at the same time. Tailbone goes under. Crown of the head grows taller. And then press the hands at the heart, left elbow hooks inside the left knee and thigh. And think about keeping the same length through your left side body as you've got in your right. And then if you want to kick it up a little bit without losing the integrity in your spine, can you reach the biceps by the ears? Hugging the outer left hip back. Nice. Root down through the feet. Use the core to pull you up. Reverse your warrior. Windmill the hands down. Frame the left foot. Lift the gaze and then just step the right foot to the top to meet it. Arms rise. Chair pose. Fold on your exhale. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Last crow pose, bakasana, palms plant. Nice. And if you played around with it on the other side, maybe you see if you can keep the left knee connected, hug the right knee into your chest, and maybe the right leg goes straight up and back. Nice. Step back, float back when you're ready. And lower the knees, child's pose. I think I just saw Tamal wipe sweat off his forehead, so that's good. Hmm. Press up to the hands and knees, cross one ankle over the other, sit behind your heels, legs extend toward the top of your mat, flex through the feet, slide your glutes behind your sit bones, take an inhale, reach high, hinge at the hips to fold. Hashimoto Nasana. Hmm. 
Come all the way up on your next breath. Scoot a little closer to the top of your mat if you need to, and then roll all the way down to your back. From here, plant the soles of the feet. Heels draw in towards your sit bones. We'll take just one back bend of your choice. So if you're coming into bridge, arms can root down, maybe interlace the fingers beneath your low back. Wrap your inner thighs down toward the earth. Scoop the tailbone toward that space between your knees. Take one more inhale. Lower the hips on your exhale. Nice, cross the right ankle over your left knee and thigh. Flex through the right foot. If you want a little more, you can lift the left foot. Maybe reach for the back of the left hamstring or left shin. Figure four. Release the leg if you've got it, and then switch sides. Slowly release what you've got. Hug both knees into your chest. Give yourself a little squeeze. Hug your forehead to your knees. Take in a giant breath of air. And see if you can sip in just a little more air. And on your exhale, let everything go. Shavasana. Release all effort. Let go of control of the breath. For these last couple of minutes, and just let your body rest. Inviting a big breath back into the body. Wiggle your fingers, your toes, circle through your wrists, your ankles. And keeping your eyes closed, gently rolling over to your right side. With the eyes still shut, slowly pressing up to a seat, floating your hands to rest at heart center, Anjali Mudra. Holding gratitude for your breath, for your body. And take a big inhale through the nose, hold it in at the top. Open your mouth, let it go. 
Namaste.